Ladies and gentlemen, little babies of all ages, the Axe FX3 has just had a monumental drive update. So I thought, why not compare the old drives versus the new drives? So this, so this is how it's gonna break down. You're gonna play a riff. You're gonna hear in the old drives. You're gonna hear in the new drives. You're gonna, everything's gonna be on the default setting. Everything's on the levels and the tone. Everything's gonna be directly up at five for both the old and the new. So we're gonna get a complete comparison they're going to be the same exact settings. You're going to hear it on some low gain, and then I'm going to change it over to some of the high gain settings that I have. I'm going to keep the exact same settings on the pedal. Once again, we have the old pedals versus the new pedals on the high gain settings. So let's see if we can drive 55. So what have we learned from this little comparison that we did? Did things change? Are they still the better or are they worse? Well, I noticed a few things. Let me consult my notes. So 
first thing I noticed is that for the Faz Boost, I noticed that it sweetened the high in a little bit. It made it a little bit more crisper. For the Super OD, it tamed the highs. It was, uh, it made it a little less shrill. It kind of bumped them down a little bit. It sounds actually really nice. Uh, for the 808, it actually, it tamed the high end and it made it a little bit darker, which, which is good for the 808 because if you crank it all the way, it gets really bright. So I guess it kind of dialed the brightness back a little bit. For the 808 mod, it sounds a little bit cleaner, a little bit crisper on the high end, kind of like the Faz Boost. And for the Great Metal Zone, it actually tamed it too. It tamed the high end a little bit on it. Of course, it still sounds like bees because that's what it does best but it did tame it a little bit and it did make it sound a little better. On the high gain side of things, for the 5150, I used the uh, 808 mod and kind of really couldn't hear a, that big of a difference, but that was just me. For the Recto, I used the uh, FET boost. I found that it, it sounds a little, it, the Recto sounds a little bit more clearer now. For the Slow, I used the 808, uh, normal 808 and it sounded like it cleaned up the high end a little bit. It, it sounds like it made it a little bit um, Sweeter it's not as um, shrill. That's what I heard anyway and for the ingle uh, It tamed the high end on that one and I used the uh, FET boost for that one too. This new update to the drives I like it a lot because also in the can when you go into the control for the pedals on Axet it and on the front panel you have some more um, pages. You have like a volume and a tone and on some of the pedals, it's the actual controls that are on the pedals themselves. So you have like a bass cut or if there's any other knob that the pedal has, it'll show up in there, which is really nice. And you also have another page for when you're shaping your tone that used to be on the very first page at the bottom. Now it has its own complete page. And you can also mess with the diodes like very specifically now which is a good thing because if you wanted to get in there and tweak and make your own cool little pedal, you can do that now. But if you don't want to mess with it and you have no idea what it is, you can just straight up leave it alone. But the best part about this is what did you guys hear? This is the most thing I get excited about. You're going to catch things that I missed. So did you think it made no difference at all? Do you think it made things sound worse, sound better? Definitely let me know what you hear in the comments down below. But as for me, I'm going to have to be out. Peace.